you guys can ever make it easy all the way. So just, but, but a big win for you guys. Hey, I go, I don't give a damn, dude. We won the game. That's all that matters. You got to win games all types of ways. A week ago, you guys were talking about how bad our offense is. So we put up 10 runs and swung the bats really good tonight. And got you know, pitch in the clutch. I mean, I thought Garrett Saylor was great. I thought Spivey was great. Rose was amped up and was up in the zone early. But we asked a lot of him this week with the workload that he's had the past 10 days. Uh, and then Nick Lopes came in and closed it out. I and mean, we're going to have to have different guys do that. And uh, he did it in a very crucial situation with the wind blowing out. Was this, did it feel like a regional game with the emotions and the crowd and everything? It sure did. You know, especially the crowd. I thought the crowd was a factor for us in a positive way. Um, you know, they get a big two run jack in the first inning. And then Jenkins Coward hits the ball out in left center and hits it good. And I, I know those people out in the jungle were on that center field are pretty good and I think he got distracted a little bit but it was awesome to see just the fans being so passionate and having the fans behind us. The, the bullpen for you guys has just been outstanding. Um, I mean, I, I think like you want to get some more innings out of the starters too to not kind of tax these guys as much as well. Well, I mean, just Rose was on a pitch count. So, well, right. So he had thrown up more than we wanted to on Tuesday. So yeah, I, I know what you're saying, but Cooch was on a day short rest. Rose was on a pitch count, so yeah, in theory, but we got to get everybody lined up so they have normal rest. And, and Rose had been pitching out the bullpen, he has to start. I mean, it's asking a lot of the, the young man. How did it feel, though, to see so many of these pitchers come in and get yourself out of a lot of jams tonight? It was awesome. You know, they're going to have to do that. I thought we pitched in the clutch last night, I thought we pitched in the clutch again tonight. Ryder, did he just, he just rolled spike? his ankle? Okay. Rolled his ankle, so it's a spike caught and just rolled his ankle and uh, precautionary, but we'll see day to day. I spoke with uh, Josh Groves earlier. Do you expect him to be in the weekend starting rotation moving forward? Yeah, most likely, yeah. He feels good a little bit. This stuff tonight, I mean, I know he gave the home run early, but I mean, it, you know, it's pretty electric, 93, 95. Yeah, he's electric, but his stuff, it actually, his stuff wasn't as good as it's been. Right. You know, Carolina and Duke, he just had better command. And look, if you throw 93, 95 down the middle, they'll hit it, as you can see. And I thought his slider backed up on him a lot just because he was overthrowing. He got a bit of manage that emotion. With CJ, he just maybe hasn't been as sharp as we've seen in the past. Do you think that's kind of being used a lot early, ha having to go to him? Early? Well, we really haven't, you know, probably used him as much as we have in the past. And, uh, you know, he's a tick off. But I can tell you this, if, if I'm going to lose games, I'll lose games with uh, CJ Mayhew. He's been out there a lot. And we'll get him right. I mean, Coach Knight and, you know, the coaching staff will get him right. How about Moylan tonight? Been in the slump the past few games and saw him at the homer tonight. Yeah, it was good to see. Very good to see. You know, I thought... He had really good at-bats Tuesday. I thought he had good at-bats last night, even though he had anything to show for it. And I knew it was just a matter of time, and you know, finally uh, got a hold of one. It's part of like, I mean, he's walking a ton, too. Is that a good sign to seeing that, like, it, it is there? He's got a good eye going right now? Well, he's always had a good eye. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's good if they're not throwing anything to him that he's taking his walks and doing that stuff, especially when he's not been swinging the bat great. But uh, I feel pretty confident that swing will get him going. The pregame ceremony, was it tough at all to, to lock back in after that because it was like an emotional moment or was it pretty easy to get back uh, in the game? You know, it's, it's not tough for a 44-year-old. It might have been tough for, you know, some of our kids. But I told them before the game that these guys are like my brothers. It might be emotional, but when they say play ball, it's we're trying to win the game. And, uh, and they were trying to win the game too. So, And they know that about me, that, you know, we're, we're all competitive. Yeah, just second straight night for you to come out of the bullpen. Just you seem more maybe comfortable or at ease in that role. Just what's kind of changed for you? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say comfortability is the is the word to use. Just um, I'm more mental right now. Like my mental approach is a whole lot better than it was in those first couple outings. So that's kind of what I what it is for me. How have you been able to, I mean, it looked like that a pitch, you know, we talked about that in the start, you know, just kind of move in a different way, but it looked like, I mean, from where we're sitting, yeah. at, it's doing what you want it to do. Yeah, it's finally doing what I want it to do. It was, it was pretty good last night, and then it was pretty good tonight. Just having confidence behind that pitch and not trying to overthrow it. Sometimes I'll, I'll get up there and just try to go a bottom, and that's not who I am anymore. So it's more of just kind of getting it's back to it. Yeah, getting back to that sinker. Mm -hmm. You got through a lot of games tonight. Well, uh, how did you guys uh, navigate through that? Well, the offense, offense came up big for us in that, that last inning right there. If we don't score all those runs in the first inning or in, in the eighth, we're going to hold it in the ballgame. So they, they played well tonight. Um, I think pitchers did their job. It's just hitters found holes that last inning. This is obviously an emotional game for Coach Goblin. What about you guys as players? Did you all kind of feel that as well? You know, I've, I've been here for four years. We, we read the Coach LeClaire coaching third book 
So it's it's just our whole culture is based on Coach Leclerc, and it it feels amazing to come out here and win for him tonight. What's the feeling with the team now? Four straight wins, and kind of you're back to 500. And yeah. how's, how's that going? We're feeling good. We're feeling good. We're actually trusting each other now. We're trusting our approach, sticking to our approach. Um, and guys are actually coming together as a team, and we're looking pretty good right now. So. Um, a big night for you guys offensively. Just what was working at the plate? Was it kind of a pass the baton type of night at the plate? I think it was definitely another pass the baton type of night, but um, it's kind of just carried over from our previous games. It's just we're just kind of staying hot. I think that's how it, how it looked for me at least. When you guys jump all over a starter like that in the first inning, I mean, do you kind of expect that to continue as it goes on? Did he kind of settle in, or I mean, do you think you can get to him again? Um, yeah, I think we had a lot of tough at-bats after. I mean, it just wasn't really going our way after the first inning, but we were still kind of tough on him. Mm -hmm. You're at you're bat for the home run. I mean, you were like a tick behind that fastball, and then you fouled off, I think, a breaking ball, and then he came back with it. Was it just a matter of you just had to see it a certain amount of time for you? Yeah, Coach G definitely settled me down and just kept telling me to just stay on it, stay on it. And it worked out well. Just dug in the ground. What did he? <laughs> you, refer oh. you had five runs in one inning and four in another. Was it just a momentum thing that kind of kept you guys going? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it helps when our defense we rolled double play. Um, we turned it well. Zach had a good turn there. I, don't know. I knew that guy was a good runner, so I was just making sure we got one there. You're a pretty emotional round in the bases in that moment. What's it like with a pretty packed house and hitting that? Like, I know you want to stay yeah. composed, but you also got to let it loose a little bit. I mean, it kind of reminded me of like a regional kind of the environment here tonight. The fans, just everyone here for little player, and it's just amazing. What's it like seeing the pregame ceremony with the big the coaches and playing in the game? Like this? Do you kind of get the feeling of, of this being a big game? I think Zach kind of said the other night he gets chills. I mean, I, I did the same thing. I got chills. I mean, there's nothing better here than playing baseball here in Greenville.